so welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be teaching you how to make opa opa you know go up by the oko hot opa so with just four ingredients salt my seasoning cube my palm oil and my opa that is my bambara flow so first of all i'm going to place uh hot or so a few amounts of water on the fire and start preparing what I will use for this recipe. Remember I said we are using pepper and other things. So I'm going to grind my pepper with my hand grater. You can add as much pepper as you want. But I want to be seeing my pepper in my opa. So that there's, there's a kind of vibes and feeling it do give me. So that's why I'm using that quantity of pepper. And I also have my nylon, yes. I have my white nylon for that I will use for the opa. Without the nylon, you can't make the opa. So you need something to put the mixed liquid opa we are going to mix now. So I'm, the first thing we are going to do is to add our palm oil. I'll add my palm oil and stir. I'm using a toning gravy to stir mine. So I'm going to stir and stir so that my oil will get mixed with my upper flow so i'm using two cups of upper the normal cup we use in measuring rice in the market that's what i'm using for this recipe two cups of upper so after mixing and make and, and mixing making sure that my flow is well mixed with my palm oil and um, remember i put hot water in the fire before we started now don't use cold water at least so i'm making use of that hot water now i'll add this water and stir gently and stir gently don't add too much over too much of water if you know what i mean so you can add more palm oil as you can see i don't like the way my oil was shining initially i wanted it to be more reddish in color that was why i added palm oil and i am turning and i'm still turning i did not stop turning so after turning i'm adding my by still thick so it new needs still needs some water some hot water you know so i'm going to check if it is this if, the, if it has melted i don't want my oil to have seed or lumps in it if you understand what i mean so i think my oba is ready look color is just like custard color so what i'm going to do next now is to add my seasoning cubes and my salt i tested for salt and it was not enough that was why i added pinch of a pinch of salt so i'm going to add my fresh pepper and thorn after i finish stirring it i'll place a water in a clean pot and put it on the fire but the pot i used initially i just i changed my mind i said to use a bigger pot you can use any pot of your choice but don't use a very small pot it depends on the opa you are making so i'm going to transfer my opa into a light into the white nylon so that we we'll cook, cook it and it will turn out to be the opa we know the favorite opa we use for our breakfast so this, as I said earlier, this is two cups of opa. I use the normal cup we do use the measuring rice. And I opened 10 lilons, thinking that it is going to, my opa is going to um, contain the 10 lilons, um, white lilons. But I found out that it did not actually contain me. So I'm going ahead, tying my opa. Please, if this video is. If you like the video, if the video is useful, if the video has been useful to you, oh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you'll be notified when we post more new videos that will also help you. That's your favorite dish of your choice. One thing some people did not don't tell us or don't say online is that the, the method of mixing the opa is very simple but 
Yet the stress comes up is when you are cooking it. As the cooking method takes up to one hour. At times it takes up take up to two um, almost two hours for our momo to get done. When you know the momo is done, is when it is strong. When it is now strong, that is something. That's the thing that most people online do not tell you guys. But I'm saying it in this recipe so that you will get ready ready for the cooking so after two hours that is when my bar is done now i serve this with hot custard and milk and this is how my bar turned out it was yummy see you guys in my next video and don't forget to like and subscribe bye